Welcome to weekly climate change news report. The World Meteorological Organization reports atmospheric concentrations of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases once again reached new highs in 2018. CO2 concentration in 2018 reached 407.8 parts per million and is 147% of the pre-industrial level in 1750. Methane is now at 259% of the pre-industrial level and nitrous oxide is at 123%. Australian fires have been harming koalas. With large areas of their crucial habitat ravaged, it is unclear what the future holds for a species that was already under threat before the surround of bushfires. The phrase functionally extinct made the rounds in news articles and on social media over the weekend. In fact, koalas are not extinct now, and some scientists even warned of the dangers of over-exaggeration. The UN Climate Change Conference, COP25, is underway. This year, nine journalists working on climate issues have been chosen to represent the communities and paint the picture during the conference. The nine climate change activists have been working on different content, writing with mandate to raise awareness on climate issues, mostly fossil fuel projects in the representative countries. The conference will take place under the presidency of the government of Chile and Spain on the 2nd to 13th of December, 2019. A new research shows that more than 708 million tons of carbon dioxide equivalent were emitted into the atmosphere when the Indonesian peatlands burned this year. The research suggests that the CO2 emitted into the atmosphere by this event was twice the amount emitted by the forest fires in the Brazilian Amazon this year, even if the latter got a much wider media coverage. The researchers of the Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Service confirmed these findings about the respective emissions of the two regions. The annual Harvard-Yale football game at New Haven, Connecticut was halted by the climate change protests made on the field during the game. About a hundred of students stormed in the field during the game, holding signs reading Yale and Harvard United for climate justice. Police escorted around 50 individuals in the protest. However, there were also players themselves who joined in the protests, alongside the spectators who also joined in the climate protest. The game resumed after half an hour after the protesters chanted disclosed, divest, and reinvest, demanded to the two elite U.S. universities to stop investing in fossil fuels. Coldplay, the globally acclaimed rock band, has decided to stop touring in the coming years with the goal of reducing the level of environmental pollution. The large scale of decorations, consumption of electricity and plastics, rising requirement of transport for reaching the venues, causing rapid rise in carbon emission levels, and also create massive range of trash. The band is currently working on implementing sustainable practices on their tours and music programs, like not using any plastic, and implementing the use of solar power. The latest report from the organization Union for the Mediterranean showed that the Mediterranean region warmed around 1.5 degrees Celsius more than expected, leading to an increase in sea level and the death of many plant and animal species. These consequences are manifested in the depths of the Mediterranean Sea. Not only is the temperature rise a problem, but there is also a huge acidification of the water, and these phenomena are unfortunately growing. It's essential that the authorities take the necessary measures to stop this.